Hi, this is Luke, and this is my video showing you 20 of the top apps you can get for the iPad Mini. Uh, all of these apps are absolutely free, um, all available on the App Store as well. Uh, so I'll get started talking through them now. Uh, first up, quite a boring one, but a nice simple one, is uh, Google Chrome web browser. Uh, so rather than Safari, uh, I much prefer the layout of, uh, obviously it remembers your favourite tabs, uh, you then when you open up the tabs it looks better as well, much like using Google Chrome on a computer. So that's a really simple one, uh, much prefer that over Safari. Next up, obviously since uh, Google and Apple's fallout, uh, there isn't a YouTube optimised app for iPad yet, obviously they've just brought out the iPhone one, but there isn't an optimised app uh, for the iPad yet. Uh, so this is Uplayer, uh, obviously just a YouTube search engine. Uh, really boring one, but something I noticed uh, doesn't come as standard on the iPad is just a calculator, obviously. Um, a few times now uh, I've needed the calculator on here, despite thinking that I'd never actually use it. Uh, iBooks is another one. Uh, Apple, one of their main things with this iPad Mini, being the size it is, is they want you to get reading on it a lot more. Uh, so the iBooks app uh, is really important there if you are inter is into reading. Sorry. Right, on to the slightly more interesting ones now. Piano Free. Uh, not quite the one on the advert, uh, for the Apple advert, but obviously on here you can um, play and create your own music. Uh, obviously create, you can even learn to play. Uh, I can't play piano at all, but as you can hear, standard piano, and there are other instruments on there. eBay app, everyone loves eBay. Uh, pick up a bargain or even uh, sell things. Uh, obviously, you could even run a business. Uh, if you run an eBay store, you could run a business off the iPad Mini, which is really helpful. Skype, uh, obviously, you've got the FaceTime camera. Uh, some people might not have uh, an iPhone or an iPad, so they can FaceTime you, but you can chat for free over Skype. Uh, thanks to the camera and uh, the internet messaging service. BBC iPlayer, uh, I'm not sure if this is a worldwide one, but certainly in the UK, uh, you can catch up with uh, all the best BBC programmes, uh, obviously some of the best programmes on TV with no adverts at all. Uh, so, quite a good one really for catching up there. I really like this one, Photoshop Express. Uh, you can. Uh, take or edit any picture, uh, this is obviously going to be really boring taking a picture of the table um, but there's a lot of effects you can actually put on the pictures um, considering it's just a free app uh, obviously you can go into the effects if I just find where they are and you've got absolutely loads of effects in here uh, that you can do to your images uh, I'll just pick any old example I suppose um, so there we go, just obviously the standard thing you can do if that was a picture of a person, obviously that would work much better. Solitaire, who doesn't love solitaire when they're bored? Uh, a real good time killer, uh, just playing solitaire, rack up hundreds of games in no time playing this addictive game. Clash of Clans, uh, this is a really geeky game that I was recommended. Um, it's into sort of like Age of Empires if you ever played that. Um, you just control an army, build up a city. Uh, and attack your rivals, really addictive game, as I say, massively geeky. Uh, Doodle Buddy, this is really good, um, obviously much better if you've got a stylus, but still with your finger you've got loads of effects and paintbrushes in here. Uh, it can uh, do all sorts of things, you can play obviously tic-tac-toe with your friends, you got all sorts of things you can do in there, not going to go into too much detail on that. Shazam, a lot of people have heard of this app. Uh, any song that's playing, you can just go on Shazam, uh, click the Shazam button, and it'll instantly recognise what song is playing. Uh, now, next two apps. Uh, I'm a big poker player. Um, don't know if uh, everyone will be interested in this, but this uh, WSOP World Series of Poker is a free poker game. Uh, just sort of play against a lot of computer players. Or then I've got Poker Stars as well. Uh, I know a lot of viewers are from the US. Hopefully, um, online poker will be become legal again in the US soon, uh, so that'll become more relevant then. Uh, but they're the best two free and uh, obviously pay to play, free to download but pay to play uh, Poker Stars app. There, we've got IMD, IMDb Movie app. Obviously, you've got all your uh, reviews and uh, up and coming film trailers, everything like that. Uh, to keep up to date with the films. 
Find the iPhone app. Um, this is a really useful one if you have got an iPhone. Uh, it also use, uh, works with a Mac uh, when that's turned on or in a Wi-Fi area. Um, it will track your iPhone where it is. It will, um, if you click find, it will track down your iPhone on a map. It will uh, also start playing an alert from the phone so you can track it down if you're close to it or potentially scare off the people if anyone has taken it. Dropbox uh, is a really useful service. Uh, internet storage uh, service where you can store loads of pictures, uh, videos, anything like that. It's, you can just store, uh, well, it's not unlimited, but you can store a lot of stuff before you start having to pay. Netflix, again, free to download, although uh, you may have to pay to use some aspects of the service. You do get a free trial. Uh, streaming any movie uh, or video that's on the Netflix service. Uh, straight to your iPad, which is really useful. And finally, uh, is the official Twitter app. Um, you've got uh, Facebook as well, but I much prefer Twitter. Uh, the official app is really useful, and it's absolutely free. Hopefully this has uh, helped you out. Uh, please like the video if it has. Uh, and also, please subscribe to my channel for regular iPad mini videos. Thanks for watching.